Hi everyone, my name is Amy Zhang. I'm from China. As a daughter, as a mom, and due to the pandemic of the coronavirus, we started to care about our family's health. So everyone started to wear a mask. So how do you know the mask are qualified, a good one? So today, let me introduce uh, from my point that they introduce three main point to see how a mask is qualified ones. So the first one, when you buy a mask, you can see the out packaging, right? That as a real a good mask, they need to have their own brand and what's the registered registered number and what's the certifications like. A surgical mask. These they are type I, R, R, and some are type one. And also, they needed to have this CE mark for the Europe market, and some of them have the FDA for the American mask. And they must to have the manufacturer's name on here. And also, they need to see when the mask are produced and what's the period of validity. And after we see our packaging, oh yeah, they, they are good ones. So we need to open it and see how the mask look. Okay, we take one. So this is only a mask. Uh, how can I see what's different from other masks? So you can see from here for the first one is that when you use it, you need to see how this uh, nasal split can fit your nose bridge. Some of them are made from the polyester so it's easy to open up, cannot well fit your nose bridge. And uh, some of them are made by not only polyester but also for the uh, airing wire. So the second one is when we do the stretching. Some really break down in this part because it it now to tighten very tightly, and after we do this test, some of the this ear loop cannot easily to short to the original situation. So the next one we should see some masks in the market. They are only two layers, three layers, and four. Uh, which layers should we choose? Actually, the basic one is three layers because. If only two layers, this is also a mask. The main point of materials in the middle might have blown, it's missing, so it's not really to uh, well care about our hair. And the fourth one, why you do the four layers for a mask? The basic one is the three layers, is that enough? And we can cut one to see. And the third main point is that, uh, you know, uh, I already checked the packaging and checked the uh, outlooking of a mask. So uh, sometimes I heard uh, some masks have the BFE and the PFE with 19 efficiency, 95 efficiency, and 99 efficiency. So how can I know with my eye to check the quality? Let me show you one method that we can burn it. You know, a real metal blown in the middle part is fire resistance. So let's do the burning test. So you can see when you burn it, cannot uh, they won't keep firing so and uh, there is no black smoking. So that's normal, that's the main point of the Melter Blonde's main function to protect our health. So that's all for this uh, flat uh, disposal novel masks. If you want to know much about uh, K95 or FFP2 or other masks, feel free to leave a message to me. Thank you.